Good evening. There will be no fee for the use of the bottle opener. Um, so I'm here to tell you about the war on the DNS resolution path, because it's heating up, and you're going to get sucked in on some side. Um, so this is a picture of the DNS system data flow. The stub resolver represents your laptops, uh, your servers, virtual servers, smartphones. Uh, they make DNS queries in order that they can reach out someplace where they can get infected. Um, the question that they're sending has your personal identifiable information. That is your current IP address, which can be associated with your MAC address, which can be associated with your physical property. So there's some PII down there. Um, you're talking to a recursive server that is normally assigned to you by your DHCP server. So if you're on the Wi-Fi here, you're probably talking to a name server that it was assigned as part of getting your address. Some of you don't trust that and you decide you're gonna, you'd prefer to use 8.8.8.8 or 9.9.9.9 or I guess now 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. Um, uh, uh, you can, of course, do that at some cost of sending your PII even further from you uh, where it can be observed by more people. And there are a whole bunch of people who want to help you encrypt that data path so that you can reach their name server. Uh, you might ask, since they're not charging you money, why would they want you to do that? Um, you might ask, since that's going to delay your responses from the one millisecond you'd get inside this building or on your local campus to the 10 or 15 milliseconds you'll get to their local Anycast outpost, uh, outpost you might wonder why you would do that. Um, and there are a lot of different reasons. If the recursive server has an answer, it will give it to you from cache, and using a very big recursive name server uh, increases the probability that something you ask is something I have already asked, or that somebody else who uses it has already asked. Uh, and if you do that, you will get fast service on the cache hit, a positive cache hit. Um, that turns out not to be as important to internet performance as your performance for a negative cache hit. In other words, an NX domain from cache is much more important to your lived experience than a positive cache would be, and those really need to be close. Um, I'll come back with math later. If it cannot find the answer it seeks, it will, uh, you know, if it doesn't have a cache, it doesn't have it in cache, it will go out and ask an authority server. That's the thing with zone files. You're editing them with Vim or Emacs or something like that, um, or you're paying somebody else to do that for you. Uh, that data path is considered to be less PII-full because it doesn't have your end user IP address on it. All it has is the IP address of a recursive name server, such as the one in this hotel, very difficult to tell from the query they saw from this hotel which of us was responsible for it. And so it is a little bit uh, less personal, uh, personal information sensitive. Um, right, so what's the war? The war is that the people who run these recursive servers have been fucking with you. They have been sending uh, fake positive answers instead of negative answers in order to get you to look at a web page that has ads on it when you have otherwise made a typographical error. And this is how low-end ISPs, uh, very thin margins, have been somehow making payroll all these years. And the people at the IETF, and especially the people at the Mozilla Foundation, are pissed off about this, and they are finding a way to bypass those people because they can't be trusted. Unfortunately, they want you to talk to Cloudflare, who can't be trusted. <clears throat> so uh, you need to watch out for DNS over HTTP. Don't use it. It's crap. Use DNS over TLS. That came from an actual group of engineers in the DNS op working group. It's not web people, it's DNS people. You want to use that. You also want to install your own name server at your house. Run one on a VM on your laptop. Run it close to you and run open source software, unbound works, bind works, power DNS works. It's all good stuff and it's been audited by people you trust. Um, a lot of people want your personal data. This is one more way they're coming for it. Thank you.